Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Now, of course, cargo management and trailers is something that we're really good at and something we have tons of different options in. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a Forge D-Ring from Cargo Smart. Now, this is an excellent looking tie-down point. You can see with that Forge design kind of has that matte finish to it. And of course, it's going to have a clear finish over that just to help prevent rust and corrosion. I really like the way this one looks. I also really like that it's a very rugged one. This is one I could see in enclosed trailers like what we're using it today, but also on utility trailers and just about anywhere else that you'd need a tie down point. Overall, it gives us a 3,667 pound safe working load limit. So with four of these on your trailer, you'll be able to strap down anything up to about 12,000 pounds. Of course, you wanna use the right straps and everything. And when we get into loads of that size, of course, our straps are gonna have big heavy duty hooks on them. Or maybe we're using chains. We want to run a chain through it and then use a binder to, to get our tractor or something like that anchored down. With this one, we're going to have plenty of room to do that. Inside to inside here, it's two and three eighths of an inch. Then from the top of our bracket to the bottom of the D-ring here, it's going to be two and a half. So even really big, heavy duty chains, we shouldn't have much of an issue getting them ran through there and getting our load secured. Now we recommend using 3 8 diameter carriage bolts as hardware. They're not provided with it, but if you get those down through there, it can make it a one-man installation because you're not going to have to have somebody on top holding the hex head bolt, but it also gives it a cleaner and more smooth look. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to be securing this to a quarter inch piece of plywood, well, it's probably not going to hold 3,667 pounds. You need to be sure what you're connecting to is nice and solid. This can be connected to steel on trailers, it can be connected to wood on trailers. Just ensure that you've got enough washer behind it or that you spread that energy out a great deal so we're not going to pull it up and out of its mounting point. Now this one's going to stick up off the floor of your trailer by about three quarters of an inch. If you don't like the idea of that, or if you don't like the fact that maybe you'll trip on it as you're getting in and out, we do have some just like this one. This one happens to be from Brophy. Then you see your connection point, it's not going to be as large and as open, but it does sit much more flush and lower to our, our surface of the floor here. In that case, to the top of our bolt here, it's only going to be about 3 eighths of an inch. Now once we decide where we want our bracket to go, we're going to place it down. We're going to be using ours in conjunction with the X-Track here to hold our generator in place. It should work out really well. I'm just going to use my 3 8 drill bit. I'm going to get my whole location marked there on each side. And then I'm ready to drill those out. Now that we've got our holes drilled out, we'll take our two pieces, lay our D-ring down. I'm going to put that bracket over it. We'll just slide through those carriage bolts. Then we'll head down to the underside where we can put on our washers and nylon lock nuts. Let's just get these started on. I like using the nylon lock nut just because we know it won't back off of there. You can also use a lock washer if you want, but the flat washer helps to spread that energy out. It's really going to help reduce the possibility of us pulling these anchors up through that plywood. And we'll just get them snug down. Now once it's installed, to secure our gear down, just going to take whatever you need to strap down in your strap. Or chain for that matter, with the heavy duty construction here, you could very easily use a chain and binder for your larger loads. we we'll just get it, ratchet it down in position. You can see it's nice, heavy duty, ready to go. All in all, I think this is a great tie down. I think it looks really nice. I think it's very sturdy, that forged appearance on it. And it also indicates good strength in it. I think if you need something especially for chains and those larger straps, I think this would be an excellent choice.